Hello High Street Parents and Carers. I know that a few people have been having some difficulty logging on to the new Teams platform, so I'm just going to make a quick tutorial to help you on your way and hopefully answer any questions that you've got. The first thing you need to do is log on to your device and open up the internet browser and then in the address bar type office.com press enter and then on the left hand side click on sign in in a moment it will come up and you'll be asked to enter your child's email address given out by your teachers if you haven't received one yet please let us know and we'll get that out to you as soon as possible for the purposes of this video I'm going to log in as Miranda in year 5 her mum works at the school and has given me permission to use the account in order to show you how to access it. Uh, please just be careful when you enter in the email address and make sure you've got all capital letters and numbers in the right places. Um, otherwise it won't work. I can just see I've made an error there as well actually. There we go, high street, double E, thank you. Click next and then enter the password. This is case sensitive again so just be careful when you're entering it in. At this dialog box here is just asking you if you want to save the details to your computer. Um, you're welcome to click yes, but I would advise you to click no if anyone else has access to the laptop or the iPad or whichever device you're using, or if you're accessing it on a device that isn't yours. I'm going to click no. And then when it's loaded, you'll see the home page for your Microsoft Office 365 account. And on the left hand side, you'll see a number of apps. Um, if you go down somewhere near the bottom, you should see one uh, called Teams. Click on that and open it up. And in a moment, it will give you an option of whether to download the app to your device or whether you want to use the web-based version instead. Either is absolutely fine. It's entirely up to you. Um, it might be easier for you on maybe a tablet if you want to download the app. But it, again, it's, it's entirely up to you. Here we go. So if you want to download it, click on this bit here. I'm just going to use the web version today. Click on that and give it a, give it a moment to open up. So now you come to the main Teams page. If you click on this logo here, that'll open up your main Teams page. Um, and you've got a number of different things you can do here. Uh, there's a, a post here which allows you to um, send messages to uh, teachers um, or communicate with other people and um, please be aware that anything you put up on there will be visible by anyone who is attached to your team and um, so if you want to have a private conversation with your teacher don't post it up on there contact them in a different way um, so on files you might have different different things loaded up there for your children to access to help them with their work uh, and at the top you've got assignments so if you click on that give it just a moment uh, you'll then see any assignments that have been set by your teacher and at the bottom it will also show you any assignments that you've completed you can also access that down the left hand side here where it says assignments so I'll just show you that And again, your assignments will pop up here. In order to access the assignment, all you do is put the mouse over the top or click on it on a touch screen. Um, click on it and it will open up. And then you will see uh, the title of your work, um, any instructions if there are any, um, and then any references. Um, any materials that your class teacher has given you. So let's just click on that one to open it up.
and then you can see this is the year five computing homework. Uh, so you can print that off or download it if you want to. I'm just going to close it for the moment. And then down here, you can see there's a section called My Work. You can see that Miranda's already started her eSafety poster. Um, but if you want to add extra work, I'll click on here. Click Add Work. And then it will give you a few options. If you've got a file on your computer that you want to upload if you go down to the bottom it says upload from this device so that might be you might have been asked to create a model of something or do a dance or sing a song so if you've got a photograph or a video uh, that you want to upload that is how you would do that and um, if you want to create a new document you can go to new file at the top here click on that and then it will give you uh, three options you can either make a word document a powerpoint presentation or an excel spreadsheet i'll show you how to do a word document so if you click on it it then asks you to name the document i'll just call it test documents and then click attach and then you'll see that the test document um, has um, shown up here um, in order to add work to that if you just click on it again it will open up a web-based version of Microsoft Word. Uh, the great thing about doing it this way is that any work that your children do is automatically saved as they're going along. So once it's loaded up, um, let's just type something in there. So that is already saved now, so I can close it. And then if I want to add more to it, opening up again, And then I can add more stuff to it as well. And again, that's saved. So you close that. Once you've finished, up in the top right hand page, it says hand in. So if you click on that, that will send a notification to your teachers saying that, yep, you've done your work and you're happy with it and it's ready to be marked. And your teacher will then be able to access it and add comments or feedback as appropriate. If you clicked on it and you didn't mean to click on it or you decide you want to add something else to it, it's no problem at all. Let's come up to the top again, click undo hand in, and then you can then access the files and make changes as you wish. Um, I think that that is everything. Um, as I've said, you, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what device you've got, you can access this on Android tablets, you can access this on iPads, you can access this on laptops or PCs. Um, if you are having any issues, please let us know and we'll do everything that we can to sort those things out. Um, I will do another tutorial uh, close to Parents' Evening to hopefully help you access that as well. Okay, thank you. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you at school.